are we seeing a return to the Exeter Chiefs at their best? I for one think, yeah, maybe we are, because last, uh, last week's game was pretty darn good. Uh, I mean, admittedly, the conditions were very, very good. It was very sunny, very good for a running game. But what I would argue is that that would suit Wasps better. Wasps are much better at running the ball. and I mean, they've got Robson there, who's a better number nine than Exeter's, to be honest. And they have the ability to run onto kicks better than Exeter, I'd say. But they didn't count on Stuart Hogg turning up. Stuart Hogg had an incredible game and just was having so much fun and I mean everyone's seen the viral clip of him chasing his own kick to score a try the length of the field I mean absolutely incredible absolutely incredible and he's got the beating of Gabriel Ogre Stuart Hogg's gonna do it all on his own <laughs> special but I would argue the better try was the one involving the forwards um you've got Johnny Hill involved you've got Harry Williams pulling out an amazing offload uh it, it was just a great break by the forwards and then instead of going to the ground and letting the ball recycled they were offloading much like how the Japanese team were doing back in the World Cup uh there were some great tries from them where it was just a joy to watch and the crowd were loving it. I can imagine if there was a crowd at Sandy Park for this game, they would have been going mental when they scored this try. Two quick balls, get into the shape. And I think it's one of the best tries I've seen this season, actually. Uh, but then, of course, I mean, if if you prefer backs playing then Stuart Hogg's try was probably one of the best ones as well. It was just such a great game, and Exeter really looked like they are back on form. And I, this might probably be due to having all of the international guys back in the squad, because, I mean, admittedly, a lot of the team are Scottish internationals, which they missed out on, because uh, Scotland, of course, had that other game uh, that, that was late against France. Uh, also, they've got a few England players who weren't uh, there, obviously, but now they're back. Uh, even Welsh players. I mean, Thomas Francis as well. Um, so now, in, uh, uh, sorry, Exeter are back at full strength and they've taken on Wasps and beaten them considerably. But they've got a real big test in Bristol this weekend and... Uh, can they do it? Who knows? I mean, there was such a mix of tries. There was tries from forwards doing offloading. There was tries from their usual, uh, the way they usually like to score from, you know, a drive from a mall and, and just going from within like five metres from the line. There were intercept Scores. scores. Well, this is going to help you, of course. Definitely. <laughs> the intercepts, brilliantly claimed by Cordero, who's not the tallest of men. But uh, there, there were questionable pushing the boundaries from Cordero at times, but I mean, th that's the game. Also, you've got Hog just being amazing. Like I said, it was just so so many different ways they were managing to score. It it was like a masterclass of just how you can get points. One thing I did think was a bit worrying was even though the conditions were great, Joe Simmons' goal kicking wasn't as good as it usually is, so that might be one worry that I have for them. But, I mean, he scored a try, so <laughs> you can kind of let him off the hook for that game. Let's just hope that he works on his goal kicking and he can face Bristol uh, head on and help get points on the board. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, I am a Chiefs supporter, so I'm a bit biased towards the Chiefs. Sorry, Wasps. But uh, yeah, I was just happy to see Chiefs at their scoring uh, best, like I'm used to seeing them, because it's it's been a rough few, uh, f few weeks, few months that, that they haven't been as good as they were last season. But this game, they definitely were, and it was brilliant to watch. Um, if you guys would like, comment, and subscribe, that would be great. Uh, I love you all. Peace out.